rocked and socked and pushed and pulled. We can't do that either. The other thing that we could have done last week, of course, we have an agreement to do a package that has been held up by the Republicans for a year, dealing with bills that are some 45 in number, energy bills that usually are handled, handled just like that in, as, in wrap up. Oh no, not now, not with this Republican minority. We don't do them. So I suggested we go to those last week. Nope, work out FISA, the president's favored. His ability to spy, that's what he wants. The problem is that he wants to do it not in keeping with the Constitution, which raises some concern with us and the American people. So no, we couldn't do anything on that until on Indian health, we couldn't do it on the energy package until we got an agreement on FISA. It's obvious what's being done here. The Republicans are trying on FISA to do what they did last August. They want, even though the president has been forced to extend this for 15 days, they now want to do what, they've, what they did in August, stall it till the last day so that we're forced to do something here, send it to the House so that House has no time to do anything about it. Now, the House has passed something, and what we want to do, what we think is good government, is pass the Foreign Intelligence Service a Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, do it quickly so the House and the Senate, Democrats and Republicans, have an opportunity to work together to come up with something to give it to the President that isn't one minute before midnight on the last day of that legislation. So, Mr. President, it is not as if this picture hasn't been seen before. This is the same picture that we had to deal with all last year. All last year. Every inch that we've been able to grind out has been tough because there has been a stall that's been ongoing with this White House and this Republican minority. <clears throat> For six years, Congress was ignored by this president. Ignored. There, there was not, in his mind, there was a legislative branch of government. He didn't have to deal with it because the Republicans in the House and the Senate gave him anything he wanted. Why wasn't there a veto? Because there was nothing to veto. He got everything he wanted. Last year, suddenly, some people in the White House at least came to the realization that there was another branch of government that the Founding Fathers put in the Constitution. So last year, they were forced to realize there was a legislative branch of government. <clears throat> and we had to prove to the President that we were part of the process. Now, we were able to get some things done, but it was difficult. And we had 64 filibusters to overcome. And I would, would have thought this year would be a little different. We have, presidential, we have a presidential election. We have many Senate seats that are up. And I would think that the Republicans would like to get something done this year. I would, I would have thought that this continual stalling that is going on might reflect on these elections we're going to have next November. That maybe there would be a new day in Washington that the Republicans are used to being in the minority and would try to work with us on a bipartisan basis to get some things done. But it doesn't appear that's the way it's going to be. And if that's the way it's going to be, that's the way it's going to be, and we will continue to work around their dilatory tactics. Mr. President. 